Hello, my dear students. In previous lecture, we have uh, learned that uh, what is unit, what is the physical quantity. Okay, so how we will measure the physical physical quantity by the numerical value multiplied by the unit, and what is the unit of different physical quantity like length? Length is a physical quantity, and the unit of length is meter. And by using the different numerical value, we can uh, show that its extent. That how much uh, bigger length or lesser length, okay. So students, uh, same we will learn today for the uh, unit of mass, okay. So same case for the mass also. So is a unit of mass you all know that is kilogram, and here is the definition. You can see that the ma uh, mass of one liter of water at four degrees also taken as one kilogram. Now student the question may be arise that water at 4 degree. Why this 4 degree? It's very interesting student. I will uh, teach you this thing in heat and energy chapter that uh, because you just remember right now at 4 degree centigrade the density of water is maximum. Okay that's why water has 4 degree. Everywhere you can see uh, this term would, you will get. Okay. Now students here is also a definition that in 1889 1 kilogram is defined as similar thing a cylindrical piece of platinum PTIR rod okay means alloy kept in the international bureau same like length for the length there is a uh, proper length of platinum iridium rod was there that is considered as 1 meter similar for the mass okay a cylindrical piece of platinum iridium rod has kept okay and the value of that rod uh, sorry that uh, cylindrical mass is considered as one kilogram and internationally okay internationally we will consider that value so that is a, a physical value kept in the paris right now to students latest definition means uh, now mass become the absolute value so what is absolute what is relative that all are related to the einstein uh, theory of relativity and when you will understand the Einstein theory of relativity, then you can understand what is the absolute and what is relative. So this thing you can consider as relative, okay, means one relation with other, we are relate with another, okay, mm, means in Bengali we can say sapekhe or sapekhe. So what a material has kept in the France on that museum or sapekhe amra sop mastake we will calculate at 1 kg but in absolute there is absolute value khetre kono kintu relative thake na kono sapekhe thake na that we will consider through the by using the speed of light and some other calculation big calculations in the physics okay so student at your age you just uh, keep remember these things now come to the subunits subunits you know gram milligram all kilogram hectogram decagram and their conversion here is the conversion 1 kg is equal to 1000 so you just remember like this 1 kg is equal to 10 cube gram okay that will be better because uh, you know if 10 cube gram will write just reverse will be 10 to the power minus 3 okay so this will need here because for the bigger unit you know am strong here you can see am strong and fermi for this case you will get this value 10 to the power minus 3 or minus 2 it will be subtract addition okay uh, it will related with your maths in this chapter there you can see that a to the power n into by a to the power n is equal to a to the power n minus n so by this using that formula there is a correlation in science subjects you all know so by applying that formula you will do the addition subtraction over here also okay so students uh, now move to the next page here you can see that the bigger quantity some multiple units that they are very important in exam you need to remember okay how the value has come here you can see 1 milligram is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 kg and 10 to the power minus 3 gram that you can conversion table you can draw and uh, now come to the you draw and you can understand by yourself there is no big deal 1 quintal is equal to 100 kg 1 metric ton is equal to 1000 kg is equal to 10 quintal so 1 metric ton is equal to 10 quintal okay 1 quintal is equal to 100 kg so this conversion you need to understand remember because uh, the, some confusing question we used to come in the exam okay suppose it will become that 1 quintal is equal to how much kg 1 quintal okay so it will be you know uh, 1 quintal is equal to 100 kg suppose re reverse will come that 1 kg is equal to how much quintal so that will be 10 to the power minus 2 okay uh, opposite of 10 10 100 means 10 square okay uh, so 1 by 10 square is equal to 10 to the power minus 2 okay you need to remember this thing 
ओके नाउ कम टू नॉन मेट्रिक यूनिट ऑफ मास सो स्टूडेंट नॉन मेट्रिक द टर्म इज यूज जनरली फॉर द सब एटॉमिक पार्टिकल मींस नॉट द बिगर पर्पस देयर यू कैन से दैट ए एम यू एटॉमिक मास यूनिट ओके जस्ट लाइक केजी ग्राम मिलीग्राम वन एटॉम विल बी मेजर बाय द यूनिट ए एम यू और वन यू ओके और यू मींस यूनिफाइड मास ओके सो ए एम यू एंड यू इज सेम सो वन एम यू इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स इंटू टेन टू माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन के जी ओके सो सिमिलरली स्टूडेंट्स हेयर यू कैन सी दैट सोलर मास एंड ऑल अदर हेयर ऑल्सो स्मॉलर एंड बिगर यूनिट हाउ दे आर कन्वर्जन वन ग्राम इज इक्वल टू टेन टू माइनस थ्री के जी वन यू और ए एम यू ओके यू मीन्स यूनिफाइड मास और ए एम यू मीन्स एटोमिक मास यूनिट बोथ आर सेम इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट सिक्स सिक्स इंटू टेन टू माइनस ट्वेंटी सेवन के जी ओके यू जस्ट रिमेम्बर दिस वैल्यू सिमिलरली स्टूडेंट्स कम टू द यूनिट ऑफ टाइम दैट इज यू नो एस आई यूनिट इज सेकेंड एंड इट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ सेकेंड वन सेकेंड इज डिफाइंड एंड वन बाई एटी सिक्स थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड पार्ट ऑफ द मीन सोलर डे ओके सो वन एस इज इक्वल टू वन बाई दैट वैल्यू इन टू वन मीन सोलर डे ओके द वैल्यू ऑफ वन मीन सोलर डे हाउ यू विल कैलकुलेट हेयर यू कैन सी ओके दैट इज द वैल्यू ओके सो इट्स क्वाइट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड यू नीड नॉट टू रिमेम्बर यू जस्ट रिमेम्बर द बेसिक डेफिनेशन दिस थिंग्स यू जस्ट हैव टू रिमेम्बर एंड हेयर सम स्मॉलर यूनिट्स मीन्स वन मिली सेकेंड माइक्रो सेकेंड हेयर यू कैन सी मिली सेकेंड माइक्रो सेम लाइक मिली मीटर किलो मीटर जस्ट मिली मीटर यू कैन हेयर यू कैन कन्सिडर एज मिली सेकेंड माइक्रो माइक्रो यू नो माइक्रो विल कम टेन टू माइनस सिक्स टेन टू माइनस सिक्स ओके you know the value of micro nano okay how they will consider here already you have learned here you can see that pico fermo okay here also you can see that micro here it is present micro okay micro means 10 to the minus 6 so whenever the micro term will come the conversion from one sec suppose one meter to how much micrometer of one uh, one uh, second is equal to microseconds always there will be 10 to the minus 6 that is the value of micro okay only the only the unit will be change i think i can make a sense now students here uh, same thing here just you need to remember uh, read these things what is a year uh, leap year one leap year is equal to 366 days and uh, which years are leap year you know the uh, which will be divided by four divisible by 400 that will be leap year okay divisible by 4 or by 400 that will be a leap year mm. after that here century okay here is the bigger units minute sometimes the value used to they used to work that one hour is equal to how much second that is the very easy and decade uh, one millennium century okay one century one millennium into second one millennium is equal to that that's that second okay 3.16 into 10 uh, 10 yes 10 second okay okay some examples of derived unit here you can see there is the proper chart has given and it is very nicely present you can see quantity physical quantity the value of physical quantity their definition and all are they are de derived units because these all are the derived unit because you know there is no length breadth they are the multi you know derived units is prepared by the addition subtraction multiplication of um, means multiplication division by the um, fundamental units okay here you can see all the fundamental units are there okay they are constitutionally prepared this derived unit okay so you can see that's why derived unit has written over here and their abbreviation or symbol to uh, represent them so area length into breadth meter into meter meter square understand i think you can understand by speed velocity distance by time distance you know distance measure in length means meter distance also length means meter time second okay all is a unit okay that's why meter per second similarly for power you know um, rate of doing work is called power so power is work by time and uh, the um, uh, value of work that is you need to check here work okay that is the unit so same unit has written here after that um, simple uh, simplification the value will come joule per second okay or watt mm. so that is the thing so some are important uh, these tables uh, just uh, read uh, and learn these things and uh, i think you it will make a sense and very easy it's not so hard okay everything has in mathematical way it has explained okay so now come to the next page student
here the guidelines of writing units okay how to write a unit here you can see the symbol of a unit which not named after a scientist written small letter okay so newton n will be capital because uh, named after a scientist but meter that will be small a okay so that is the thing you have learned in junior class also a symbol of a unit which named after scientist written first letter capital letter you can see n for newton everything has written here here meter for m okay so if you read there will be no problem and only just remember two uh, guidelines because a maximum two mark will be there mm, after that everything is proper here just some uh, maths you can practice them you just read one maths here the mass of a molecule of hydrogen is that kg find the mass of one kg mole of hydrogen gas okay so mass of the molecule has given one kg mole hydrogen gas contain okay this 6.02 into 10 to the power 26 molecule of hydrogen okay so now just calculation over there mass of one kg mole hmm. so i will make an another video related to this maths for uh, basic understanding here you can see that uh, this this is very easy question that the size of a particle is 4.6 micro micron so express in meter so you know micro means 10 to the power minus 6 so just multiplied by 10 to the power minus 6 so it will converted into micro converted into meter okay micro means you know 10 to the power minus 6 when you multiply with it that will be converted into meter so that is the thing and uh, now students uh, there is a, a small exercise uh, basically you know uh, no need to worry because uh, we have started very early your class 9 syllabus uh, another one year is there we will practice so this book selena has contained lot of questions and tremendous exercise is there so you just practice these things i think there will be no problem that will be your homework okay 1 to 13 and uh, matter is that at the end of the all question answer i will provide you just practice by yourself all question answer i will provide after the completion of the chapter okay each question answer will be there with the maths and all the things okay all the short question answer here the numericals as well okay student so just keep the basic sense in your mind right now and do the study after the chapter completion first chapter completion i will provide the all question answer okay you will just copy it down but understanding should be there now student next class we will start the measurement of length